lovely crafters, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Disney Pixar's up movie inspired Carl and Ellie's armchairs. Let's start with Carl's masculine armchair. First, let's talk about the main material. Just match the colors. You can get it easily online. As usual, I'm not giving you the printable pattern because you can make it yourself. Screenshot it. Okay, are you ready to make the pattern? There we go. Pattern A, Pattern B, and Pattern C. These are all we need. For this part, you have to find your own perfectly fit size. Glue it inside and put it on. Next, we're going to cover the arms. Try not to put the glue on the side that might be seen. I'll show you how. Pull it tightly and stick it to the glue. I need it to be sticked to the fabric, so it's gonna be easy if you're going to cut the fabric later. But I'm not using hot glue because it's gonna leave some ugly texture. But it's okay to use hot glue to the back side. White glue, it's not gonna hold it still anyway. And here it is. Put it on here using hot glue. And don't worry about this ugly part, we're going to cover it later. And let's go to pattern B. Of course, it's not gonna fit anymore. So, reshape it. Don't make it too tight, but make it a little bit loose like this. Just add some more glue on these tricky corners. Just remember, the better side is on the outer side. Next, let's go to pattern C. Do the same as before. Never make it too tight, but a little loose like this. And I make another tree of it and a sponge one. 
Stack them together and make sure you're making a 3 cm thickness. For the seat pads, you have to find your own perfectly fit size. This is mine, how about yours? Then make another tree of it and two sponge pieces of it. This is the pad thickness we need. Remember, make it really loose. Then let's cover them with the fabric. So this is how I glue this long part. First, I put the glue on the middle part first. Then I continue to the edge part bit by bit, carefully. Now let's cover the ugly join I was talking about using a pointy gun because 3 mm is small enough. Honestly, I'm still struggling to do it neatly, but it's not so easy even though I already use a pointy gun. So this is the solution. Just cover the ugly white part of the glue using matching color marker. The whole body part is done, let's continue to the legs. These are actually my leftover dowel in various lengths. Just mark the one centimeter wide and glue it to the chair. See, they don't have to be all in same length. And done! Now let's continue to Ellie's feminine armchair. Let's talk about the material first. I'm using a real sofa fabric but you don't have to. And then four letter braid like this. Just match the colors. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the pattern from scratch. Screenshot it. Okay, are you ready? You can draw it only the half part of it. Let's start with the arm part. 
draw something like this the more unrealistic the more better it is because it's a cartoonish shape don't make it realistic so there's nothing can go wrong okay let's continue to the head part Let's continue to the ear part. Okay, start it here and end it here. It doesn't have to be the exactly same shape as mine. As long as it's symmetrical, it's gonna be just right. These are all the patterns we need. To cut the cardboard into a curvy shape, use cutter pen. Hold it just like holding a pen. measure this distance this is my number yours might be different and use the number to make this make it two we're going to make the shape of the arms Then I'm covering it with the fabric. It's about this size. So my fabric is thick enough. So if yours is not, I think you have to cover it first using a felt fabric like this. But I'm not gonna use it. ears you have to make a little excess size and then score it so you can make something like this yes like this now you get it glue it bit by bit carefully just to make sure it's following the curve line
for this part it's really little space left so this is what I'm gonna do It's gonna be bigger than the back side, but it's okay. So this is how I glue it easily. About this ugly part, don't worry, we're going to cover it later. And now remeasure your own perfectly fit size seat pad. This is mine. Don't make it too tight. And some sponge pieces like this. Let's try it on, it's perfectly fit, but before you glue it on, this is what you have to do. We're going to cover some ugly part of it first. You can also cover this part, but I'm fine with it. Now the whole body part is done. Let's continue to the legs. Remeasure the bottom part. This is my size. And cover the side part using a little piece of carton, like this, using any glue. And it's becoming like this. Then I'm using 3 cm chest pawn or plastic pawn from any toy as the legs. Paint it brown. I'm using acrylic paint. Then put it here and paint the side with similar color. And this is it. Put it here and our chair is done. So, we 
Which one do you like? Carl's or Ellie's? Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That's right. And leave your comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's right. I know, darling. I always write. So, see you in my other video. Bye. That's right.